Hi, welcome to the Drum Channel. I'm Greg Bissonette, and I'm going to talk a little bit about tuning your drums. Now, watch what happens when I put my middle, my little, my first finger in the middle of the snare drum here, and I'm going to. When, I, when there's no finger there, you can't tell it as well, but when you put your finger in the middle, it sort of enables you to hear each tension rod separately. So I'm going to go with do, 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 do. Do, 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 Pretty close. 80% of the work I do, I have something inside my bass drum. Notice there's a hole cut out, and I've got a little pillow inside, and that enables the drum to just have more of a oof, oof, as opposed to a boom. Some music, you want the boom. Some music, you want the oof. So on the bass drum, I don't like my bass drum cranked up super high uh, when I'm trying to do rock beats. I like them pretty, the bass drum pretty loose so there's no wrinkles in it, but so that it's not super high. If I'm playing a jazz gig, I won't put anything inside the bass drum and I'll tune both heads up pretty high and get a nice boom, boom, boom. Every style of music has different types of drum tunings. So now I'm gonna kind of mosey on up here to the front and uh, tune the same way on the resonant bass drum head. I'm going to go every other. As they say in Italy, I like that very much. They don't really say that in Italy. We're going to use my favorite dampening, which is the gaffer tape or they, they call it duct tape sometimes, but duct tape leaves kind of a gluey, sticky residue. Gaffer tape, you can take it on and off and there's no residue. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on here. We're gonna get a good dead snare sound now. To me, that snare drum matches that kick drum. One of the best things you can do is tap the shell of the drum. If the shell of the drum goes boom, and your top head goes, when you see, I've got my bottom head resting on my, my knee, my leg, and by doing that, I'm muting that bottom head. So when I put my finger in the middle of the head and I tap around, I really hear each tension rod, and I'm not hearing the bottom head. So if you get your drum, if you tap your drum and it goes boom, boom, you tune the top head, boom, 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 boom. Flip it over, mute the top head with your leg, and get the bottom head, top head, boom, bottom head, boom, drum by itself, boom. Well, I realize that was probably a little more playing than you're going to do right as soon as you tune up your drums and start right out. But we do start with the very basic rock beat and just gradually grow as we practice and watch these different lessons on the drum channel. It's also very important to study with a private teacher each week and really 
practice along with songs and other musicians, and the sky's the limit. You can really grow and grow, and there's so many great things to learn. So please tune into the drum channel here. Hope you enjoyed this lesson all about tuning the drums. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.